8% of the cells of the epidermis are called melanocytes. These cells have the ability to develop long spindly processes and to stretch out to contact the surrounding keratinocyte cells. They can then synthesize the pigment melanin, which is the primary pigment in humans, and inject this pigment into the surrounding cells. These melanocytes produce the pigment melanin, which is then packaged into vesicles known as melanosomes. Now, melanocytes can make different forms of melanin. A reddish form known as pheomelanin is packaged into pheomelanosomes, while the brown to black eumelanin is packaged into the larger, more oblong eumelanosomes. The melanosomes absorb the amino acid tyrosine, which is then converted into the pigment melanin by the enzyme tyrosinase. There are variations in the gene tyrosinase which exists in human populations. Some of these variations can affect the pigment of skin and hair, lightening it. And there are also mutations which cause pigmentation disorders such as albinism. All humans, even albinos, have a similar number of melanocytes. What differs is the levels of activity of these melanocytes. If the melanocytes of an individual are producing large amounts of eumelanin, the brown to black pigment, then skin and hair will be darker. This may be normal ethnic distribution or this may be in response to sun exposure to protect from UV light. Some individuals are incapable of making this eumelanin or do not make large quantities. Instead, their skin and hair is primarily pigmented by pheomelanosomes, giving their skin a much lighter color and their hair a lighter or even reddish color. While this is part of normal ethnic diversity, it does increase susceptibility to skin cancer 